So we had a free media. We had women in politics. That was a big change in most of our neighboring country. We don't have that. Schools reopened. Infrastructure was rebuilt. A military and police presence put into place. They were sea changes from the mayhem that existed under the Taliban. And she says they never would have happened without U.S. help. They will take back Afghanistan to, to, to 1995, 1996, what they did before. And women, uh, they were not allowed to go to higher education, to work and to be to have a presence in the society or in the government. Sahila is one of the lucky ones. She now lives in the U.S. in Colorado Springs under a special immigrant visa obtained through her work at the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan. But for those left behind in her home country, she has deep concerns following the U.S. decision to get out. This was a quick decision. And I, uh, like... Afghanistan still needs help. I know because the process, the peace, the peace negotiation process is not useful. And Taliban, as you can see the news at the, uh, during, uh, from the news channels, that every day there are they are tar they are targeting civilian. Female said we worked alongside. We're incredibly brave. There are concerns shared by retired army officer Rebecca Monaco, who now calls Colorado home. While we were there, we were able to die. It's a United States help facilitate a lot of great things for women. She helped train Afghani partner forces, including women, teaching them everything from how to drive military vehicles to how to speak English. For the first time, those women were empowered. I'm worried that's going to turn from, hey, women are having power here, educated, they're making a difference in our country, to turn it back into women are going to kind of simply property again, and a lot of women are going to be flat out executed. You have, um, Afghan uh, female journalists and doctors who have already been targeted and killed this past year. Rise in Afghanistan as the Taliban continue to patrol the streets of Kabul. President Biden admitting today the Afghan government collapsed more quickly than anticipated, but that he stands behind his decision to withdraw U.S. troops. The Pentagon says up to 22,000 Afghans could still be evacuated from the ground over the next few weeks, as many fear they will be killed by the Taliban. Fox 31 News app, we have live updates on the developing situation.